one of the bigger mysteries in science just got a whole lot clearer. 60% of miscarriages or failed implantations happen because embryos can't figure out how to stick to the uterus. Dr. Laura Shaheen here, double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist. I'm going to get back to this fascinating video in just a second, but I want to clarify because I heard her say something I would say a little bit differently. 60 to 80 percent of miscarriages, if you can test the pregnancy tissue, will be from a chromosome abnormality or a genetic issue within the embryo, not necessarily something wrong with the uterus and the way it's implanting. I'm just really tired of women being blamed for miscarriage when most of the time it's an embryo issue. Now, this is fascinating information now let's get back to learning and until this breakthrough we didn't have a clear idea as to why just think about that for a second the most crucial moment in human reproduction has been a complete mystery we couldn't study it mostly because it's happening inside the mother's body where we can't see but now these brilliant scientists did something nobody has ever done before they filmed human embryos trying to implant in real time using artificial uterine tissue. A microscope took photos every 20 minutes for 24 hours straight, capturing the most important moment in human development that we've never actually seen. Here's how they did it. A makeshift uterus was made using collagen-rich lining. This kickstarted the natural scaffolding found in uterine tissue. Then the interaction between the uterus and embryos were recorded over 24 hours. And what they found is very interesting and honestly surprising. The way the embryo implants is that it sort of burrows a hole into the uterus with serious force. Then they release enzymes that break down uterine tissue to essentially fuse with the organ's blood vessels, which begins the implanting process. Scientists found that the more force the embryos made on the uterine lining, the better its chance of successful implantation. But this is a fairly invasive process in which many women bleed and feel abdominal pain. Most people don't have pain from implantation, but bleeding is very, very common. Up to 30% of pregnancies that go on to have a gorgeous baby have bleeding in the first trimester. And part of it can be from this incredible interaction between the embryo and the uterine lining. Now let's get back to learning. The researchers poked the artificial uterine tissue with forceps. The embryos immediately moved toward the disturbance. Scientists think embryos use these contractions and movements as kind of like GPS signals to find blood vessels and nutrients. We just watched one of the most fundamental processes in human biology for the first time ever. 